the channel guys today we have here a Siemens SIM32 it uh, it's from a Renault in this case it's a Twingo 1.26 valve so in order to open this ECU you will you will need to pry, op pry open these tabs uh, all around the ECU here then uh, you, on the back here you will eat everything around because there is silicone of course I've done that already and then just um, unglue it or uh, open it um, if you will um, anyway uh, this ECU it um, uh, we are not going to demobilize it in this case these ECUs uh, there are a few cases where you can demobilize it depending on what car it goes um, but it's uh, rather complicated you can also fit an um, emula emulator so in this case we are going to program the STM95160 to put the ECU in a virgin state meaning that um, this ECU will be auto programmable or um, that means that uh, once it is in this state you can just plug it into a car and the first time you you switch the ignition it will auto uh, code itself so it will lock to that specific car and the car will start and uh, you can not uh, then uh, change the issue from this car to another because uh, it will be locked to this one so in order to do that we are going to remove the 95 uh, 160 EEPROM and uh, we are going to put it on the XPROG uh, once again uh, there in the adapter and uh, we are going to read it M95160 then I'm going to be opening a new page and then hit read once we have the dump uh, saved we are going to use that dump in the software to um, uh, to put it in a version state meaning that there will be no uh, VIN number uh, no key codes no nothing so um, and we'll, it will get in a state where um, where you can just plug it to a car and uh, be done with it. As you can see, there is the VIN up there. This is the um, original dump from the DCCU. Um, it's a used DCU. So that car uh, was scrapped. So now we are going to uh, be saving this file as original and um, we'll be um, editing this file. Again, I'm going to put it in my uh, flash drive so I can move to the other uh, computer where I have the software the, for edit the, the dump. As always, that's how I do it. The software I'm using here is MUC Engine ECU Decoding. Uh, it offers the two options to emo off uh, total or partial. In this case, it's partial because it, it is in auto coding mode. Uh, and like I said, the total uh, EMOF in this case, it's not guaranteed that it's going to work because um, on certain cars you have a connection, a CAN connection, that you cannot uh, cut uh, the pin, so this you will be locked. 
um, and it won't work. So your best option uh, on these ECUs, if you did not lose the key, is to put it in auto program mode. In that case, um, you just, it's plug and play. That's what it is. two files now the original one and the virgin one so you can see that uh, everything related to chassis or VIN number um, codes to the keys and everything is gone this is pretty much in a virgin state or a brand new state also you can do it manually you don't really need this software to do it uh, just see um, as I compare these the differences you just basically you just uh, fill the um, the ECU the first part to with F's as you can see there now it's all the same but the first part there of the ECU it's all filled with F's so it means that uh, it doesn't have any information in it. So now on this ECU I'm going to be uh, uploading the um, virgin file that we, are j we have just done on the other computer. So um, that uh, when we uh, plug this ECU to the car it will start and code itself. Um, but yeah guys, this is um, the way to virginize this ECU and to put it in autocode mode which is um, pretty much uh, straightforward and uh, one of the best options uh, to go with this type of ECUs.
Anyway, so if you like this video, if it helped you, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy this type of content so that you can follow uh, for more content uh, like this. Uh, and uh, see you next video. Uh, stay safe.